guys, it's Miss Ariana. I hope you guys are all well. I can't wait to see you guys soon. I miss you guys so much. And hopefully we'll get to back to gymnastics as soon as possible. But for now, I'm going to read you guys another book called The Caterpillar and the Polywog. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. Here's a caterpillar. This is a hippopotamus. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not just a thing anybody can do. Look at that's what they turned into. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, said she told the polywog. What fun, said the polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the polywog. You will, said the fish. All polywogs do. What am I going to turn into? The polywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed away after it. To turn into something else too. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the polywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. She's so surprised as he is. Caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The polywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the polywog said happily. What fun. Let's do it together. Do you think he's going to turn into a butterfly one day? All right, the caterpillar agreed. Although she would rather have it done on alone. But I go. I get to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. Look at what she's making. Her new home. The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Spun soon only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the polywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. There she is. She disappeared into the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened. But the polywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. Do you notice anything different on the polywog? Hmm. I wonder. For days and days and days. Oh my goodness. Do you notice anything? At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened very slowly and the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. There she is. And there he is. What is he? I don't know. The polywog was so excited he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. He turned into a frog. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, as she flew off to try new wings. 
But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. Aww. A caterpillar wriggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. <laughs> the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye.